Doris Hathaway was born in 1868. She is Adelaide and John Hathaway's first child. Doris was very close with her family. Most of her days were spent playing with her little sister. But when her grandfather became ill, they moved into his home so John could care for him. However, John didn't expect his brother Christopher to already be there. Doris was happy to meet her uncle for the first time. She was also excited to spend time with her grandpa and play with her cousin Xavier. It was nice to be around the family. Doris didn't know much about her uncle, but he was always grumpy. She would try to get a smile out of him whenever she could. She got to know him and thought he was cool. Doris helped him loosen up. While he seemed big and scary, he was a kid at heart. But after her cousin Xavier was taken away, John and Christopher got into a big fight. When John vented to his wife about it, she reminded him that Christopher was the only sibling he had now. Soon they'll be the only ones left. Knowing she was right, John went to settle the argument with Christopher. That's when Christopher apologized for everything and they made up. Over the next few years, Christopher and John would become best friends again. It was a relief to see them finally getting along. In 1883, Charles had passed away. After his death, Christopher decided to go back home. While he promised to visit, it was sad to see him go. After he left, things were quiet. Doris spent her time taking care of the farm and livestock. That was all that mattered until she fell for a man named Benjamin. Doris would always have him come over. She was head over heels for him. It wasn't long before he proposed. She said yes right away. When she told her family the girls were happy to hear it. But John wasn't excited. He didn't approve of Benjamin at all. Despite his feelings, he was there to walk her down the aisle. But he still wasn't happy about it. Doris and Benjamin were married in 1886. After that, Benjamin moved her into his estate in a town far from her family. They spent the next year living in Nirvana. Everything was perfect. Sometimes he would be cruel. But she didn't love him any less. Soon the family was expanding. Around that time, Benjamin started to show his true colors. Doris soon discovered that he wasn't the man she thought he was. Doris was infuriated to discover his affairs. She wrote a letter to her father telling him what happened. That Benjamin had discovered the letter before it was sent and destroyed it. He would do so with any other letter she wrote after that. With the stress of it all, Doris had her little girl early in 1887. She named her Molly. She was worried about her family not responding to her letters and planned on visiting them. But Benjamin refused to allow her to even leave the house after she found out about him. Instead of picking a fight, Doris focused on caring for her little one. A job she was doing all by herself because Benjamin refused to get a nanny. Yet he never bothered to help her out even once. In the first few months of having the baby, Doris had no time to even care for herself. She was exhausted. But eventually Benjamin stepped up. He had become the man she fell in love with and they were happy again. In 1889, Doris was expecting another baby. She later gave birth to Cassandra. While Benjamin was away at work, Doris cared for both of their children. It was her responsibility to do on her own. No matter how draining it was, Doris later found out that Benjamin had remained unfaithful to her all along. At that point, she couldn't take it anymore. She told Benjamin that she would be leaving with the children if he couldn't be faithful to her. Benjamin told her that if she left, she couldn't take the girls and he wouldn't allow her to ever see them again. Doris couldn't imagine leaving her daughters behind. So she stayed there and continued to live that nightmare.